Hi, Susan Heller with Remax Action here in sunny Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for visiting our video blog. And the topic of the day, escalation clause. This is a good one. This is a great tip for ensuring you win the buyer bid. So buyers are asking, on a regular basis, what do we have to do to get our offer accepted? Every time we write a contract, the buyer wants to know, how do I make my offer stand out? And one of the techniques we're using quite successfully is an escalation clause. And this is an addendum that is attached to the offer to purchase. And it has three parts to the escalation clause. Number one is the purchase price. Number two is the amount of escalation. And number three is the maximum purchase price. So for example, we are quite often in a multiple bid situation and a buyer doesn't want to lose out. So for example, they make an offer to purchase a home at $500,000 and they say they will provide an escalation clause of $5,000. Now that clause goes into effect when there are multiple offers and it stipulates that the buyer is willing to pay $5,000 more than the highest bona fide offer. For example, if the offer comes in at $525,000, the offer escalates to $530,000. And it will quite often have a cap. It says up to, for example, $550,000. So that gives the buyer peace of mind that they get the offer up to and not to exceed $550,000. The catch is that the seller knows the buyer is willing to pay up to $550,000. So sometimes a sharp seller or listing agent will come back to that buyer and say, we will accept your offer at $550,000. And the buyer has to decide whether they will accept the counter offer or whether they will continue to negotiate. It's an interesting market and we're here to help you to make the best decision for you and your family. Any questions thinking of selling or buying, always call Susan 239-248-8000 and make it a great day.